this from the Women's Thou Loose conference on last week. Um, the first day one, we started uh, on October 9th. Um, and the pecking order is to uh, get us aligned and get us ready to walk in our potential and our favor and what God has placed our destiny in our life. So day one was to um, start the journey um, of getting up every morning, um, giving God your first fruit every morning, waking up into morning devotion and meditation and studying, of course, Luke 2 and 52. And um, day one, uh, Bishop Jakes just talked to us about getting up and aligning ourselves with the word and to um, pray about increase and, and, and favor and promotion and speaking into your own life. Okay, and you can find these things on my website, uh, on my uh, Facebook page, if you're friends with me. If not, I'll uh, send it to our WSET Worldwide Facebook page and um, website, so you can also view it there for more information. And you can. And tomorrow is a great day to start. It's not too late to start. You start your own 52 days because it's all about your life and what you want to be and what you want to do. In day two... Um, Bishop Jakes encouraged us to go and um, get a credit report. He wanted us to uh, go and find out what our actual credit score was and find out what it is and actually start assessing the damages, going and stopping disputing information that um, we feel wasn't ours. Um, he said go to the Fair Credit Reporting Act and um, the credit bureau to provide a free copy and then get yours and start pecking. That was day two, so we was assessing the damage, um, checking out what we have on our credit, if we didn't do it, or even if we did do it, just dispute it. Um, I think it's a 30-day window that they have to respond, um, and then if they don't, then it will be removed because you did your part. Day three uh, was to set up a plan for those things that comes back that they won't dispute, they won't get rid of for you. You go on and you... Um, start making preparations to get a plan to pay those things off not down but pay them off because he wants us to eliminate all debt he said um uh, step two set up a plan the old saying is how are you going to eat an elephant and the answer is one bite at a time so take everything in small steps just get it started the sooner you get it started the sooner you will be finished think about it whatever you are right now 20 years from now you don't want to be faced with the same issue you're fighting right now because the purpose of him telling us to clear our debt is to clear our name if we're going to be a, in a different status in a different position we can't go with the same background so he wants us to increase and our credit report because a lot of song, a lot of jobs are based off of our credit nowadays. So the sooner we get that fixed, the better. That's up to day three. So I'll continue to encourage us through the pecking orders um, ordered by Bishop Jakes. As I said, I'm going to make sure we get this out to the world because the more people that can fix their credit, the things that we sometimes depend on, like the government and other people and family, we can start depending on ourselves because we'll have a name established through our credit that'll get us to that financial stability. Amen? Amen. All right, so you've been listening to WSET Worldwide Radio with the Sunday Morning Inspiration Show with the one and only Lady J on the mic, helping you out to encourage you, motivate you, and encourage you. And anybody's out here listening that are doing the pecking orders and you do have some information about the debt consolidation companies that I've been also looking into to help increase us to move this process on faster. Um, we'll take some calls and my boss actually has some information so he'll come on when we come back and encourage us and help us to get financial freedom by doing it ourselves, not waiting on somebody else to do it for us. All right. All right, so back to some good music, and we'll be back with some more information to help motivate us and get us to financial freedom.